Hello and welcome to Learn ADS in 5 minutes. In this video, we will talk about converting legacy nested multi technology design to smart mount. As you understand, smart mount make it very easy to assemble multiple technologies and perform a full 3D EM analysis in RF Pro. So let's talk about it. To start with, we need an example which uses the old multi technology flow using a nested approach. Here, under examples, I have MMIC chip on a QFN package. So let's go ahead and unarchive that workspace. Now, after the workspace is unarchived, you can notice various folders. And if we go to library view, you can notice we have two libraries. One, which is QFN package, which in this example is the base package, where you have the QFN design on top of which we will place the MMIC amplifier. And here under LNA chip library, you have the LNA design and the corresponding stack ups. Now in earlier multi-technology flow using nested approach, we needed to modify uh, the base, um, you know, stack up, which basically to create a composite stack up by nesting the IC um, substrate on top of uh, the base technology. Now, if you had three ICs, four ICs, each using different technology, then we needed to, you know, configure those many stack ups manually. And this is a pretty manual process, which takes multiple, um, you know, clicks in order to achieve that. In the new technology, uh, using smart mount, we don't need to create a composite package because ADS creates it on the fly once we start RF Pro. So we'll go ahead and remove the substrate so that we have the normal package substrate where you can see bound layer is at the top. Let's go ahead and save. So remember the name is tech in this particular case. Now by going to technology, nested technology, the other thing we needed to do earlier was to do a layer mapping by bringing in all the layers technology from the child object. So in this particular example, you only have one, but if you had two or three ICs which you would like to assemble, then all those layers have to be mapped. In this case, let's go ahead and remove that as well. Now, the only thing we need to do in order to work with uh, smart mount technology is simply going to LNA chip library. And here we can define the smart mount subtype and you can choose between bottom mount or flip chip. So in this example, let's go ahead and use bottom mount. And since there could be many cells inside this library, we will go ahead and apply this definition to all the designs in that library. Make it super simple. All right, so once we have this configuration done, we can go ahead and start working with our multi-technology design. Now, what we need to do is simply bring this LNA chip over to this QFN substrate. And here you can see I placed the LNA chip. Now, on top of this QFN, if we right click on this IC technology, go to mount layer, we can select which layer of the base technology you would like to mount it on. So in this case, it's PON, which is correct. Now, if you go ahead and open RF Pro, it will ask which base technology substrate you would like to use. And just now I modified our tech.substrate file to remove the nested technology layers. So we go ahead and click OK. Now this will open uh, the multi-technology setup in RF Pro. So it goes on to my other screen. Let me bring it over to this screen to illustrate. So here you can see I have the package and then this chip currently is defined in a circuit role. So I will go ahead and change it to layout. Now, how ADS is able to configure this uh, stack up, which has both the information from the IC and the package. If you go and look under substrate, you will notice you have the layers from LNA chip library as well as QFN library. Well, there is no magic, but the rule behind the scene is whatever you IC, which you want to nest or place as a child object, you need to have tech.subst, which is basically the master substrate. As long as you have it, ADS will be able to figure out the composite stack up. Now, in case that tech.subst is not available in the design, now what will happen now if I, let's go ahead and delete the RF Pro view, which we created earlier. Now, if you try to create RF Pro view and here for the uh, package, we use tech click OK and suddenly you will see an error because you do not have a technology substrate. 
because now uh, since there is no master substrate in the um, you know child object library ads is not able to build the the composite stack up behind the scene because tech.subs is a default name for the master substrate and you don't have it now the question is how do we then get around this problem well you can either save this substrate as a tech.subs which automatically will be named as master or you can go to options technology edit master substrate and then in the lna chip library you can choose an existing substrate to be used as master substrate pretty simple right so once you make that assignment you can see this substrate is now master substrate and now if we try to open up rf pro uh, from the package technology you will see a pretty good seamless um, you know composite structure and all the stack up definition and the build up will be exactly the same so here in this rf pro view let's go ahead and change the layout uh, to change the LNA design to be layout role and again if you look at all the connected definition as you would expect it so whether you you know choose the option to have tech dot substrate in the child objects or go to option technology edit master substrate and define an existing substrate as a master this is how simple it is to convert all your legacy designs to smart mount and be successful with RF Pro Thanks a lot for watching and wish you all the best in your design work.